Окей, okay, using the the flat screwdriver, remove the ring. Little by little. All right, the ring is removed, and we exposed the pipe. This is how it looks. It's ready for the new valve to be installed. Uh, the new valve consists of the valve itself and plus this decoration little piece. Since the pipe is very short, we will install the new valve without this decora decorative little piece. It's not needed anyway. Okay, let's install the new uh, valve. Okay, the new valve is installed. We depress firmly. Okay, when the new valve was installed, we made sure that it installed firmly. Right now you cannot remove him. It's in. It's like a bowl. Like this. It goes and then it's not removable anymore. And sealing properly everywhere. There is also a place to install this little decor. It's like a small ring. But we will install it later, we will firstly check everything for leaks before we will install the new hose, which goes from the whale We don't need this, it's like a clamp This one you don't need You can install the new hose Then you will need to use a key to make it a little bit tighter but at the beginning you can just install and the other end you need to install right and another piece install to the reservoir use the key make it a little bit tighter Looks like it's using 15 millimeter. We took the set of the keys. And just tighten it. Not too hard, not too little. And the top, the one that's connecting to reservoir, we just hand tighten. It was pretty much enough. And here is the bottom, we use the key. Yeah. Go and turn the water back on using the tool. The water is on, as you can see, it's leaking. But here we don't have any leaks. Everything looks to be good. The reservoir is already hidden with water. This water we can already disconnect. And here we don't have any leaks, so far so good. This was the replacement of the valve, together with the hose, since the hose is crimpled for the new type of the valve, where the hose is already detachable. If the hose in the future will become bad, we can just replace the hose without being removing the valve. Thanks for watching. The leak is stopped as you can see, the appliance is new, the new valve, the new hose, and also besides replacing of the valve and the hose, we decided to replace the lever, we decided to put automatic one, which doesn't have this, just the lever itself, and also as you can see there is a small crack, that's why we are trying to use it, you cannot use it because it's cracked here, need to be replaced as well. Like this, and then you have to untwist it. Using the pliers, make the nut loose, and then using hands, I remove it. And then you can 
remove the left Prepare the, the new one for the installation. Also remove this as well using the pliers. Do control clockwise. Just take your time. Not to correct uh, reservoir. Control clockwise, then using the fingertips. Prepare the new one for the installation. The new one is a lot more advanced. Doesn't have this manual. This is already inside of him. The lever. It will measure the, uh, the, the lever. Very simple to install. Just position him inside and use the screw which was in a set to mount it. Then the pliers. No. They made it long enough, so we don't even need to use pliers. It's just the hand tighten. You see? Pliers are not needed. Install the hose. And put the hose down. And then this is completely very easy. Just untwist the ring. Tighten it. Make sure that it's properly positioned. Alright, all new components are installed. Uh, let's open the water. In the wall. Ah, firstly, we, yeah, we forgot. We have to put this hose back. Hand tighten and then a little bit use pliers. Just at the end. Okay, this is the way how this works. As soon as it will reach, it will stop because of this clip. All right, and finally, as you can see, everything is installed. There is no leaks at all. This was the replacement of the hose, of the whale, and all the electronic components in this restroom. Thanks for watching.